Ready, set, art. Part two, fall animals. This one we're going to focus on deer. The last one we focused on owl, fox, hedgehog, and the squirrel. And today we'll focus on the three types of deer. Mom, dad, and something that looks like Bambi, right? C cute details inside here as well. A lot of students like doing this for their main project. The main project, again, is a fall animal with a fall scene going through it. So let's get started. I think I'll start with mom, right? So even though on your sketchbook page it will look something like this where we have the three all on one page for demonstration purposes, I'm going to draw bigger than that and I'll take up the whole page. I'm going to try to keep some of it up here so you can I go back and forth, but for the most part I want you to focus on the drawing part. Okay. So the first step is the access line. So looking at it, it's straight for the torso. So remember that really access lines is head, head to torso. In this case, it goes from head to shoulder blade like this. So I'll put that line in as well. All right, and then I wanna go ahead and put the circulars in for the chest area and the hind area. Sometimes I draw this area way too long, so I'm just going to double check that. I think you saw that in the last video. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in my angle for the head. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and put that shape in. All right. Maybe this part of the ear so I can uh, figure out the placement later. And then I'm also figuring out the eye angle and the nose. Okay, next the legs. So the legs are longer, right? So I'm going to compare these legs to the body and it's actually a little longer. So I'm going to put my dash line here and you can see I used a seat measurement. From there, I'm going to go ahead and start with the hind area because of the movement of that leg. So I'm going to go ahead and angle here. Okay. That's the first leg. See, I just hold my pencil to the angle of the body and compare. When you're in college taking art, it's the same thing. It's, it's how you learn to draw very quickly. Um, I once knew a student who, uh, he kind of struggled all year with drawing, but then once we got to the actual point where we're dealing with drawing animals and people and the axis line, this kid was really great in math and he ended up just being a superstar student. He was easily the fastest student in the class when it came to this type of sketching and he had it correct every time. So, you know, um, if you if you follow those steps with the angles, you'll get it just right. Okay, just figuring out my legs in the front. Alright, so I have the basis, oops, maybe a tail. So I have the basis to figuring out the rest. And so we're going to go from a geometric to a more organic shape. I'm going to go ahead and fit in this body shape. Generally, the necks have this part kind of coming out like this. I'm going to curve that part in. If you've ever seen a deer up close, they have a very graceful look to them. Right? Uh, I had the ch when I took the kids up to Mount Charleston, we had a chance to see the deer cross the road and the way they just kind of galloped and the way their fur looked, they just they just had this beautiful graceful look to them and so in general when you're drawing deer you want to capture that idea okay i'm almost done with this part of the leg again i try to sketch quickly i understand you as students will take a little bit more time than i am but uh, demonstration purposes i try to be as as quickly as i can let's look at that leg real quick look how that goes right so again that graceful look so I'm not going to have it completely straight right there I need to kind of tuck it in and then I get up to that knee and then I bring it back up okay all right those dainty little legs same with the back one my pencil needs to be sharpened okay and that part kind of pops, this back part here. 
and these you'll find this worksheet on Canvas anyway, so you could just go from there if you feel you know how to do this. Sometimes we do that in class. We have a handout and you kind of go from there. Um, okay, that's looking good. Now for the face. So I'm going to lightly erase because we're reshaping. And they have this nice brow. It's kind of really strong indent, right? So, and then it goes into this snout. And they don't really have tiny noses. It, it kind of goes up like this. Look how big that is. And then we go into the mouth. It's very dainty and slim right through in here. And then this nice long jaw. For that eye area, it's a three quarter view. So this side here will be normal. And this side we barely see. And I'm just filling it in for sketch purposes. Now those ears, those ears are big. They have big ears. Not to the point where they're like rabbits, but big enough. And they're slightly rounded right here. Okay, that's another little feature. Now looking at my drawing, I probably need to actually even make that a little slimmer right there. That's okay. All right. So we have the basis for mom, and now we're ready for dad. Okay, so dad's a little different. I chose a different profile because look, this is the way the head is facing, right? So I'm gonna get a new piece of paper. The body is gonna be about the same, but bulkier. And then this part will change up, and this time we'll add antlers, okay? So here we go. I'm going to go ahead, remember I'm just kind of comparing. This time this part's really more angled. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead, the head is really close to the body. So I'm looking at this angle, and I know that it actually stops right there, so I'm going to erase that line. So again, as artists, sometimes we see that we've made a mistake, and you just Go back and correct it. No big deal. And then I love this part right here, this chest area, where it has kind of this bulky fur keeping them warm. Some chin hair. Okay. And then I'm going to put in the shoulder blade area, the hind leg, tail. And then I double check to make sure if you're looking at it, it's not a super long body like say a dash hound. Okay, now for the legs. So I'm going to see measure these legs. It's a little higher than the body. So if I'm looking at this about right, it's almost like this and the legs are about here. Okay, and now I'm going to do my angles. So uh, that means I angle from here and I compare to the body. Another little tail. This one's nice and straight, but almost set back a little bit. This one is moving forward. Okay, so for the most part, we have our proportions in, and we're ready for the detailing. So detailing, we're just kind of lightly erasing and making it a more of an organic shape. Organic means natural. All right, let's start with the face this time. Okay. So I'm going to put in a line for the eye area, a line for the nose area, and a line for the chin area. And then the eyes are seen from the front, and normally it's different. So like a side profile, we would normally see the whole eye for a deer, right? In this case, we're seeing it from the side. So I'm going to change that shape a little bit, okay? And then I add in the pupil eye. And then it has very strong features, so I'm going to add this in, and then it helps lead into that nose. It's interesting because their faces are very slender, and then that nose is kind of big. All right. And then into the jaw. All right. And then it has big forehead, so I'm just going to add that in those ears, right? Big ears. Easier to hear you with. Right? Those big ears. Big, big ears. 
Okay, so now when we move on to the antler, whatever you draw on one side, you need to draw on the other side. So if I put this shape in, I need to put that shape in. I think that you would get the idea that eventually you're getting to this point. So whatever, whatever you put on one side, you got to put it on the other side so it looks like it's matching. Okay, let's put in some fur. It looks like it's a little bulkier up here, so I'll bring that up. Almost lion-like the way it is, regal, very regal looking. Okay, let's put in that big shoulder blade. They have those big shoulder blades, a higher rear than mom. And then shaping this leg in. Again, these are they're bulkier than the females. Okay, and almost done with this side. Like I said, they're a little bulkier. Okay. I know it's sketchy, but remember when we're sketching, we're trying to get to the point where it's proportionally correct and then we can lightly erase and detail. And that's the point of sketchbooks. Sketchbook, we're, we're just learning about proportion. So sometimes I put these circle joints in so I can help figure out the rest of the leg, how the shaping is. Kind of like when we drew uh, hands with the knuckles, right? Okay, and we have dad. From there, you could clean it up a little bit so that it's to this point. For sketchbook purposes, I mean for demonstration purposes, I try to clean up the line so it's easier for you to see. Now we're ready for our deer. And this baby deer, you're probably looking at and thinking that it definitely looks more like Bambi. Well, you have to know for the movie Bambi, they used real deer to draw from. They tried to get the proportions a little closer to how they look in real life. So that's why you're thinking, probably thinking it looks more like Bambi. Well, you're right. It does. That's what they were trying to do. Okay. So this one is going to might throw you off a little bit because of the size of the head. So why, you know, for children or for uh, young animals, why are their heads bigger? Because they're generally born with their adult size heads. So yeah, their heads are a little bigger and then they kind of grow into it. So that's, that's just what that is. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my axis line. It's a little different. It's angled and then comes up. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a line. That was too strong of a line. And then I compare and that's the first axis line. Okay, and then I'm gonna draw in the chest. It's a little squished right here because he's sitting. All right, and then my rear. It's angled. I think that's too far back. Let's put that in. I think that's better. And then here's the head coming in. And then, there we go. That's for the facial features. That was neck, facial. And we're going to draw the head a little bigger. It has that cute little nose. Okay. Those cute ears. So good. Right? They're just so cute. Big ears. Okay, you can start to see it's it's creating that shape, right? But there's so much sketching in the middle, I'm going to go ahead and take some of that out. Alright, so eye placement. So how I do that is I angle and I just compare, right? This way we don't have one eye out of place. It's a three-quarter view, so on one side we see it a lot more and the other side not so much. For these big doe eyes, I'm just going to put in a highlight there, and then you can fill it in. Okay. And then here, we don't see the eye as much. Darken that up. And they have those cute little fur lines here. And then these little cute fur lines here. They're short little fur lines, so if you had to indicate, you could put little dashes there. Bring that in. Oh, and that little nose. But again, they're little, and then the, it's funny, the snout part is kind of big. Right? That's almost there. Let's bring in that nice jawline. Her cute little mouth. Right? I'm going to indicate the edging of that ear and then some, maybe some longer fur. The edging of the ear, some longer fur. And now I'm ready for that neck. So look, the neck goes beyond the jawline, right? That's normal. Let's bring this in. You can see we're starting to shape. It's starting to get there. The back is turned up, yeah, because normally when you sit, your, your spine curves up a little bit, okay? And now we're ready for the legs. So 
To figure that out, I'm going to do some angling. I know you're not going to be able to see uh, my original drawing, but I'm just you'll just know that I am doing my angles to figure out. Okay, so that was the top part of the leg. It goes out a little past the chest. And again, on the handout in Canvas, you'll be able to see the finish, more detailed drawing. A little bit of the body. Okay, so that was the front part. Let's figure out the hind leg. So this time I did the hind leg last because the hind leg is behind. It's kind of like, um, you can see it's behind this one, so that's why I did it. Okay, so, and it's coming up right here. It's up, and then that little hoof comes back. So now I'm ready for the shaping. That interesting little shaping. Okay, almost there. Let's add that cute little tail in. We have our basic shape. From there, we lightly erase and detail, and we add those little spots, right, to finish up your piece. That is part two of fall animal drawing. You turn that in, you upload the images, and then we're ready to start rough drafts for fall animal with fall scene. Thank you.